Hello there, family. Hi, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about um, faith uh, that comes by hearing and, and, of course, doing. Gail's going to read for us. Read Mark 11, verses 11 to 14. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went to the temple. He looked around at everything, but, but since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. Seeing in a distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to find out if they had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves, because it was not the season for figs. Then he said to the tree, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard him say it. Thank you. Amen. The fig tree, it it died or it dried up from, from its roots. And and why are we talking about this today? It's because we we um we have to have a, a time of reflection regarding our faith and especially when it comes to to prayer and to to understanding who God is. You know, we, we may think that we have uh uh, faith in God, but uh, uh, we 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 need to get that to that stage where we we don't second guess ourselves, where that we don't doubt um, who God is and who Jesus is in our hearts. Um, and, and the question that we can ask is: is what is faith? Now, uh, faith is 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 the is the living foundation or, or the principle of the Word of God. In other words. We, we have to believe in what God is teaching us, and especially in these days of chaos and, and, and all that's going on around the world. I mean, every day we, are, we can't believe what we are hearing, what we've seen on the news, what we've seen on Facebook and, and uh, YouTube and the Internet. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's going crazy. And there's absolute chaos. So we've got to, we've got to say, well, Lord, you know, where where does where's this taking us? Where where are we going to? And it it's it's a time where we have to start saying, look, we have to depend on our God. We have to have faith in our God, because the faith is it it, it produces it life. It is life. It and it changes life. And I, I know that God wants us to feed on on the living Word. The, that you know that precious word of God, and we've seen and we've heard and we've experienced so many occasions, and we've and and we we know that God God is real. God is God is there. He answers prayers. And as we were talking about the faith that that comes, you know, by hearing, and of course doing, uh, we we also we we get in that from Romans ten verse seventeen, where it says, "Faith comes by hearing, and hearing." Is, is by the word of God that and that is provided to us uh, b- through the Bible and also we have the blessing of the Holy Spirit which we need to we need to really draw upon the the uh, the uh, power and uh, what whatever the blessing of that Holy Spirit to be able to handle and do what we need to do on a daily basis if we if we get to that stage where you realize that that your your you know inactivity uh, is 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 very evident, then then you need to you need to bring that inactivity to to a place where you will find that victory. That and that victory is in Christ. This 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 uh, this morning again we we've heard of of people. Uh, p- passing away uh, from the virus, and uh, we've heard about the uh, things that are going on in America, and and even in our own uh, country with our government, uh, you know, it's it's very difficult to 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 try and understand where where everything is going, and in in fact, around the world. And isn't this true? What Bible Bible prophecies uh, are, are warn as uh, brought to our attention is warning us about. So so there has to be more than. Than the earthly vision and the uh, uh, the the hope in in people, it's it has to be bigger and deeper than that, and that is in God. That is that that 
that faith has to be placed in God and God alone. And that is, cool. of course, is what uh, what Jesus has done. Because family, m- many of us now are living in fear. We're living in fear, but we should we should be living in faith. And that, and when we have that faith, it closes up everything because um, it, it it starts to it starts to shut out that fear. It starts to shut out uh, that uh, that doubt, um, that unbelief, and. I, I just I can't emphasize this enough that that this is what we really really truly have to have to focus on now in especially in these times we will get through this family brother and sister we will get through this but we won't be able to do it in our own strength or our own authority or our own power it has to be through uh, through Christ it has to be in uh, according to the living word. The word that gives us life. Let us pray. Father God, we know that faith in you comes from hearing about Christ. Build our faith as we study your word and help us to apply it to our lives. And when we have the opportunity, Lord, may we share your gospel message so that others can hear about the good news of Christ and build an everlasting faith in you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you and protect you today. Amen.